Hi guys, I'm Bartek from Divante. I'm here to present you in detail on the functionality of Akineo. Today, I would like to show you the product section and in particular the product's grid, how to change its layout, how to add a new product and how to edit existing products. Ok, let's go to the product section. Here's your product list. If you want to display product in a different form, you can change it for a gallery view. Above the list we see the number of results and a search bar. The only thing you have to do to find a product is to enter a label or identifier. Currently the product grid consists of 9 columns, like ID, image, label, etc. You can also sort it by ID, family, status, complete and updated. One of the most interesting features of the products list is that you can see the product completeness in percentage terms. You can also add more columns to the list of products. Just click the Columns button, then choose the group of attributes, select an attribute you want from the second column and drag it to the next one. Then click Apply and there you go. Filters are on the left side. You can also change the view of the project in the same place, but this is a topic for a separate video. The first three filters are default and the first one is a channel. You can change it by clicking on it. The next one is Locale, where you can select the language. The third one is a category filter, which is a set of additional filters. You can easily add a new filter by clicking plus on the filters. Just select the filters from the list and click done. If you want to create a new product, click the create button and then select a product. Provide the SKU number and choose the family from the list. For example, I will choose LED TVs. Now you have to complete all required attributes for the product. And here you can see the completeness indicator. To facilitate data entry, this view can be filtered by a group of attributes and you can choose what particular attributes should be displayed. In this case, the required attributes are name, description and display diagonal. Those attributes have to be completed in every channel – e-commerce, mobile, print and in every locale – English, German and French. You can also undertake more actions in this section, like publish a product, export to PDF, compare or translate and delete a product. Once you've completed all sections, save everything. Then go back to the product section to find your recently added product on the list. If you want to edit a product, just select it from the list. You can also classify, delete and toggle products directly from here. You can also edit more than one product at a time directly from the product list. To do so, you have to check the box next to the products, which allows you to undertake some bulk actions, like editing attribute values, changing family, adding to groups and publishing selected products. You can also make a sequential edit, delete products or make a quick export. Now I will show you how to create a product model. According to the definition, a product model is used to manage products with variants. It gathers product variants and eases the enrichment of their common properties. If you want to create a product model, you have to click again the Create button. Now select the product model, provide a unique code, choose Family and then choose a Family variant. In this case, I will choose LED TVs. After that, you have to complete all required fields in every locale. When you do that, you can create a product variant. Possible product variants will be displayed next to the common label. For LED TV, I can choose the display diagonal variant. Now I have to provide the display diagonal and SKU. As you can see, you've added the product variant successfully. Ok, that's it. Let's save it. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. And see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.